this is because yeah so i guess Kanye west is still going on these real Kanye west seems like he's on a one-man mission to expose gaps management for their gross negligence in terms of how they've handled his collaboration that he's doing with them with yeezy gap and balenciaga um it feels like um the cracks are starting to finally open and i think Kanye is starting to realize that all corporations are the same i think for a while he was essentially goading and kind of you know rubbing it in the nose of other brands he's worked with that of how well he was being treated at gap with how valued he felt there um with how valued he felt at adidas and whatnot and i think over the last few months we've definitely seen him go on some tangents or maybe let it be known that both of those companies are not doing right by him but for me, I think I've said it plenty of times on here, I feel like there needs to be some level of maturity and understanding from Kanye West side of things that if you're going to want to, you know, get into business with these big corporations, you have to realize corporations are always going to cooperate. They're always going to do what corporations do. There is no changing corporations to suit the needs, desires and the wants of creatives. They're never in that business. And I feel like most corporations that get it, what they do is that they get really creative people who have incredible ideas who can maybe help their business to come in for a short time you know rebolster their image make a big splash and then they leave after three years but there is no long-term vision or really long-term partnership that they can sustain because at the end of the day you know executives and in these corporations you know have their own targets they need to hit they have their own demands and their own job and sooner or later those people are going to try to get their fingers noses and tongues and toes into the pie and try to add whatever they can add so so that they can say they did something too and then of course those are things that creatives absolutely hate it's like giving it's like being given notes on a show that you produce yourself about your own life story so it's always going to end in tears but for some reason Kanye seemed hell's bent on trying to single-handedly change the way the record industry does business the manufacturing industry does business the way corporations do business and I feel like to me it's a it's a kind of loser's fight I feel like the best thing to do is to set yourself up and put yourself in a position where you can do your best work in a very short space of time like I said three to five year partnerships and then as soon as that partnership comes to an end shake your hands shake the hands of the people that you worked with and move on to your merry way but you know Kanye I think is also understanding that the level of stuff that he wants to do at the level that he wants to do it in terms of providing clothing and the accessibility to good products and good fashion and good you know whatever um housing whatever it may be to a wide range of people he has to work with corporations because they have the ability to produce those things on mass to a very high standard he probably hasn't got the ability to do it so at the moment so if that's the case um fair enough but you also have to accept that they're going to you know want to get their noses involved as well and it feels like hey that's a basically oh sorry gap are doing that at the moment the first thing he was kind of moaning about was this kind of um screenshot taken from his instagram which basically looks like somebody has kind of shared with him an image taken from the gap website that basically looks like gap are essentially copying um the shape and the color tone and silhouette of the shirts that he produced under the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga moniker and in the screenshot you've got an image taken from the Gap website and it shows a model wearing a t-shirt with Gap and Blazon that looks quite similar to what Kanye did under his own Yeezy Gap Balenciaga thing and the person says in the comments here in the chat this is Gap copying, you know, Yeezy Balenciaga. And um, Kanye says, exactly. Oh, no, the person said, um, exactly. Do you want me to post this text message, right? And, of course, the person, the text message gets posted. And then the next thing we see is this really incredible clip, actually, that I'm going to play for you, where it looks like Kanye is in a meeting with people, with some of the hires up involved with Gap. And he's essentially give them a dressing down. Because I imagine this has something to do with this clip or this post that Kanye posted that I kind of mentioned before where he posted a picture of the glasses that he has in his collection and the caption says Gap held a meeting about me without me so I'm guessing that made some rumblings or made people take notice at Gap they called a kind of fireside meeting a quick meeting or stand up they wanted to do in terms of kind of clear the air and Kanye took the opportunity to do what Kanye does and to basically give them all the big dressing down which is pretty sick to see um, him kind of addressing everybody at the Gap um you know, at the gap upper management, the way he's doing. And I think as a creative myself, it's quite cool to see somebody like him talking to people of that kind of level in this way, because sometimes there can be a little bit of a, um, what you think called there can be a you can sometimes get intimidated when you're creative and you're in rooms with these kind of executives but 
at the core of it, these people are there. You are in a room with them because they feel like you can contribute something to what they're doing. So there should be a partnership. You shouldn't feel inadequate to what they to them anyway. And usually, at the le- at the level that you're doing your thing or what your kind of skill set is, they have no idea how to do that job. So you should basically be telling them what to do. You shouldn't be inviting, you know, notes or opinions and whatnot. You should be telling them exactly what you want um, to get the job done. And if you can't get agree on that, then you should be walking. So maybe what Kanye is saying here makes complete sense, but it does really look funny him dressing them down. These big executives who you know met, who basically who command massive wages and are in charge of big teams, and here's Kanye basically giving the dressing down wearing your sleeveless flipping hoodie it's pretty funny this is far tough this is not celebrity marketing this is not a collaboration this is a life mission i didn't understand why i love louis until i learned about mark jacobs i didn't understand why i love gucci until i learned about tom ford i didn't understand why i love ralph Lauren until i learned about ralph lipschitz i didn't understand why I love that to learn about Mickey. Me and Matt and George brought season six and showed Mickey and he grabbed the stuff and his response was, oh, it's too good. So I'm not going to be please Terry back, this, that, that, something that can hit that old Navy price with the cut. And we go and we do TV commercials and we open up that store, we look at those stores and we go through those racks and look at that product, whatever, and put that other shit in the outlet. And put their shit in the front <laughs> throughout every single gap store. And let's go take the JC Penny store, it's not where I had it. He does make some good points. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but he does make some good points about their lack of um being on the ball like the fact that they didn't design they didn't put together a fashion show for the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collection the fact that there wasn't many TV adverts even though one of the first ones did well the fact that allegedly they took the pre-orders down for the blue um jacket that you can't button up that I don't know what it was called that balloon jacket whatever that one that was did really well that sold in a crazy number of units um loads of really interesting points that he kind of raises but the one that I love at the end is this <laughs> towards the end I think this is really really hilarious let's play this towards the end let's play this bit how do we go Costco how do we go Old Navy prices and I'm there in factories with no heat I'm there no security no heat no gold watch no chains learning how do we get this to the high schools and the high schools they believe I said, this is bigger than us and we shouldn't argue amongst ourselves but I'm saying I have to go pull that sword out of stone. You either believe me or I'm going to show you. I'm either going to show you faces this way or I'm going to show you faces this way. But you're going to see it. Don't fucking clap. You guys are in the position of a quit. Okay, get it. Get it. No, it's not a fucking joke. In Virgil's name. In my mama name. <laughs> Don't fucking clap. You guys have put me in a position where I feel like I'm going to quit. In Virgil's name or my mama's name. So clearly, all the rumblings we've been hearing about Kanye behind the scenes in terms of these issues with Gap have clearly been illustrated here. He's clearly going through some growing pains or some relationship pains or partnership pains, whatever it may be. But for me, the thing that's really interesting, because I said before, corporations are always going to cooperate. I feel like the funny thing as well is that you're seeing it clearly now because Gap was on his knees prior to Kanye coming in. And he has single-handedly revived them because he cares about the brand. And I think he mentioned it himself. He actually is personally invested in Gap he's always wanted to design for Gap I think he's spoken about being you know have been, having a line at Gap or doing his own thing at Gap for, for many many years ago so it's definitely something that he was always it's always something been a, like, it's kind of been like a bucket list um, thing that he's always wanted to pursue so the fact that he single handedly chose them for a partnership he probably feels like they're not take, they're taking it for granted because he probably could have rocked up to any brand that needed a breath of fresh air that needed to be revived and they would have been happy to give him the keys to everything and he could have done whatever he wanted, right? Think about brands like Puma, think about brands like Elisi, think about brands like Fila, whatever it may be, right? All those kind of brands that are on their knees and struggling. If they would be super over the moon and happy to have Kanye kind of come in and essentially try to bring them kicking and screaming into the 21st century. And he specifically chose Gap and now Gap are essentially taking it for granted. But he also shows, like I said, that corporations are always going to corporate because he is single-handedly bringing them into modernity, bring it, making them cool, making them relevant, especially with the youth market. And if he continues doing what he's doing, 
he could in theory turn Gap into being the new version of Uniqlo for these kids coming up because when I was coming up in the industry or when I was coming up on the scene and I wanted to wear stuff that was somewhat linked to the scene that I was in in terms of streetwear and menswear some of the things that I could get in terms of basics I got them from Uniqlo especially when Uniqlo first started in the UK I was quite young when it was here and I would buy like basics like chinos I'd buy basic like Oxford shirts um, like um, selvage denim poplin shirts short sleeve shirts shorts t-shirts and whatnot all from there as in basics so i could easily see a future where kanye turns his yeezy gap um engineered by whoever collection into one of those sort of staples and that kind of makes really classic essentials and quote-unquote basics that people can wear year round and they just kind of refine and hone these different silhouettes seasoning seedless and out with really nice and cool and fresh colors that kids can wear again and again and again and again so clearly he sees a much much bigger role for this and for every reason the gap management doesn't see it that broadly or doesn't have the vision to see that far but again like i said corporations are always going to cooperate because they have no reason to doubt what kanye's influence or impact could be because they see it firsthand but they're still kind of being lackadaisical with it or essentially doing their own thing and essentially pissing him off but i still think there needs to be a level of it's the same maturity but it's not even maturity it's just understanding i think for kanye that he's never gonna i think not never but it's going to be really difficult to try to turn these corporations into being perfect partners for creatives i don't think that's their mission i don't think that's their position i don't think that's their kind of role in society in general i think corporations should always be a vehicle where creatives can go in and do some work and make an impact but i think overall they should serve as a kind of counterweight to what people do in their everyday life in terms of creative output there shouldn't be a platform that you can go to to basically do your most creative work there should be a place where you can maybe create to a certain level and then bounce and do your own thing i don't think there should be they should be like long long term partnerships because i think about other collaborations over the years they don't really last that long they always kind of you know are short-lived they make an impact and then they bounce and then you kind of remember them in years gone by and i think that's what kind of should be doing that gap but the thing with Kanye also is that he does these amazing things. He pushes the envelope. He tries his best to kind of make these things work. And eventually he doesn't end up seeing the fruits from it, but the, the generation coming up behind him end up do. So maybe this is what was going to end up happening with this collection. He's going to end up fighting the good fight with Gap and then they're going to end up fucking it up or maybe deciding to go separate ways. And then people coming up underneath him are going to end up kind of, you know, enjoying the fruits of his labor because companies are going to see maybe they should have given Kanye more of a, you know, of a leash to do his own thing and they're gonna want no leash is a bad term but you know they're gonna give they're gonna give the new generation more room to kind of grow do their own thing going forward so maybe he is doing a good thing or included <laughs>